welcome to cadex please subscribe us and press this bell button to get notifications for new videos thank you GDNT combines a set of symbols, rules and principles to ensure that everyone is on the same page regarding how a feature or part is defined. When a design engineer hands off a drawing to a machinist, they need a common technical language for communicating exactly what must be done. GDNT is a system to regulate and determine that communication. Why is GDNT important? GDNT is very important to the engineering world. It is critical for anyone seeking employment in the mechanical engineering field to understand it. Whether you are an automotive engineer or a CNC machinist, knowing the basics of GD&T is paramount to having success in your industry. Designers, engineers, machinists, inventors and CNC operators all need a grasp of GD&T knowledge to communicate clearly with each other. Now in this lecture number 2 I will teach you the second, GD&T symbol, straightness. Straightness actually has two very different functions in GD&T, depending how it is called out. In its normal form or surface straightness, is a tolerance that controls the form of a line somewhere on the surface of the feature. Axis straightness is a tolerance that controls how much curve is allowed in the path's axis. This is usually called out with an included call to maximum material condition. Both callouts are very different from each other. See images for reference. As you can see in drawing, straightness has no dotum surface but it may apply LMC or MMC. We will discuss it later videos. Always remember, surface straightness is called out on the surface of the part. Axis straightness is called out next to the size dimension of the axis. Surface straightness. The standard form of straightness is a two-dimensional tolerance that is used to ensure that a part is uniform across a surface or feature. Straightness can apply to either a flat feature such as the surface of a block, or it can apply to the surface of a cylinder along the axial direction. It is defined as the variance of the surface within a specified line on that surface. Axis straightness. The form of straightness that controls the central axis of a part is sometimes referred to as axial straightness. This tolerance callout specifies how straight the axis of a part is, usually a cylinder. By definition, axis straightness is actually a 3D tolerance that constrains the center axis of the part preventing it from bending or twisting too far. GD&T Tolerance Zone Two parallel lines on either side of a surface line where the surface must lie 2D. A cylindrical boundary around the true central axis of the part where the derived midpoint axis of the part must fit into. Now how to measure straightness. First surface straightness. A part is constrained and a gauge measures along a straight line. In this example the height variance is measured to see how flat or straight the line is along the surface. Second is axis measurement. To gauge axis straightness effectively, MMC is commonly called out. To ensure that a part or feature is axially straight, a cylinder gauge is used to determine if the part fits in its total envelope at MMC. This is both a control of the diameter and of the axial straightness. The idea of the cylinder gauge represents the maximum virtual condition of the part. When we should use straightness symbol. Commonly used for sealing surfaces or surfaces that meet with another part. For example, hydraulic channel cover in a transmission would need to make steel on steel contact in order to seal off the open hydraulic channels and maintain pressure. With a straightness call out you can specify which lines on the surfaces are most critical to make sure the pressure is maintained. Axis straightness. Used mainly on pins or cylindrical surfaces which must be installed with clearance into a bore or hole. The straightness call out ensures that even in the maximum material condition, the part will still fit its mating hole or section. Straightness is commonly used to control the curve of some parts that may be prone to bending during manufacturing. 